ages. We are talking and we are in the same thing. platform. Yeah. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Yeah. Shobai ki awesome ko dono ba jada ya madhesh adhachen practice upo shor paste the ya skere live. Aske amra shunbo ki ba be aile se amra bhalo korbo ki ki jame la madhesh hoy paaye shob gula bichhu the ki amra aske mane bhalo idea nibo. Abong aske madhesh adhachen ek tu jodi mam nijer pori choy diten. Ami cha cha apni apna pori choy diten. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Saida Jamla Bukuzuti. I'm living in Silet, Bangladesh. And I think that's enough for now. So it's better if you can introduce me as a student of practice. Okay, it's okay. But uh, what I'd like to say, like, you can tell where you're from and uh, what's your uh, academic background. Okay, so I'm currently studying at grade 11 at Tillet Government Women's College. So it might be a little bit surprising for you because it's only, uh, what should I say? I'm only 17 and I just completed <laughs> IELTS without any reason. There wasn't any particular reason to go abroad or do something. Uh, but, you know, I completed. So That's what inspired you? I got it. So what inspired you to do like IELTS before 18? <laughs> Okay, the first reason was to experience. I was such a person, you know. I love to experience new things. I want to explore more. And that inspired me a lot. And the second thing was to make a record. I think uh, it sounds weird, but let me tell you the true thing. When I heard that nobody gets, uh, seven, my six point five and above at the age of seventeen, eighteen, or you know, uh, before I become adult. So mm -hmm. that was my foreign to get a better score and prove myself in front of the people around me. Okay, so that's why you appeared as exam and you got a nice score. Got it. A uh, nice score. It's you okay. can say, but I'm pretty bit disappointed because of four and five. I missed something really precious, you know. Okay, let's uh, forget it. Sorry, okay. can I share this live? Can I minimize yeah, yeah, the video? Yeah, yeah, sure, 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 you can. Because uh, this is the first time I'm coming live with somebody. And I really don't know how to do that. <laughs> okay, just so, go to the page. Okay. Go to the page. You will get the thing like you can share from page. Go to the page. Practice yeah. for sure. Got it? I got yeah. I got it. Yeah. I'm scrolling. Can you see me on video? Right now? Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, okay. So... Okay, let's ask some question because uh, when I shared on social media that uh, Juti will come and she will talk, uh, people ask so many questions. Uh, okay. hopefully, hopefully on comment box also, they will ask some questions. So, you know, so many people, they're like confused, like uh, what they will do, what they should do right now. So there are so many issues. So we need to fix yeah. it out everything. So especially, what I'd like to say, uh, if you say something about like uh, the thing you face in IELTS exam, uh, what about your feeling while uh, okay. you, were, you were in the exam hall? If I say particularly while you were in the exam hall, oh. what did you feel? The first thing was I was a little bit nervous, first of all. It's really <laughs> okay. You're nervous. You're nervous. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no, before before going to British Council, I, I, I know I'd, like to, I'd like to. I'd like to. I'd like to make some notes because that you were you were nervous. Like, so what I learned from this point, like, okay, so everybody everybody has the feeling. So while they appear exam, they can feel nervous. So it's a common thing. I, I, of course, it's obvious yeah. thing. So it's, it, you know, it, being it be, nervous. I, I, okay, I'd like to ensure that it can yeah. be very, very, you know, 
a common scenario that everybody uh, feels nervous. So that's okay, nice. Of I course. I felt when I I gave you exam, I felt it. That's why I I need to say I that should. it's okay. Yeah, all are human beings. So okay. as a human being, getting nervous or you know being in a tense mode is really natural. If you are feeling this, all right. If you are not getting this, that means you are not getting the exam right. Yeah. First of all. Okay. Okay, so first of all, I really know about the British Council environment. As I went there before, when I gave ELC exam, so I felt like it's okay. I would be sitting there and might be going to the exam hall. But when I entered, firstly, mm -hmm. and they checked me, checked me like you know whatever I got, I just took. Pen, pen, I just took pen, pencil, rubber, and eraser. Most important thing here. Uh, before the exam, mm -hmm. just just before the exam, I got to know that I can take my pen and pencil. Just before the exam, what happened? Uh, I was really, you know, in a chill mode. That okay, they will provide you pen, pencil. No worries, no need <laughs> to buy anything. Mm -hmm. But. Uh, just before the day, I heard from a teacher that the quality of few rubber, you know, the erasers and something might not be good. So it's mm -hmm. allowed if I can take my pen and pencil. So it was really good for me because the eraser they provided me wasn't good enough, not good enough. The the you know the sharpener as well. So it's a great thing that I brought those things with me. Otherwise, I'm gonna get penalty over there. Okay. Okay. Then, yeah, they checked me, and when they saw, I didn't take my mobile phone and other stuff. Trust me, they were really happy. I just okay, took so, my pen. Okay. So, so you 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 didn't them. you did you didn't take mobile phone with you that time? Okay. No, I didn't right. because I know no. they're gonna check me. They're gonna take my things in a bag, and they, it's about hassle. So that's better. Go. Um, you know, go as we are going to our traditional classes. That's how I felt about the exam. So then, uh, I, 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 need to, I, I need to and to tell uh, the audiences like uh, who are listening to us. So as um, Juti said, like uh, she heard from someone that um, uh, British Council or IDP, they they will uh, like they will provide. Um, things uh, she needs what what she did uh, before the exam someone said okay whatever they will provide is not good so that's why she bought some so that could be learning point for us uh, like what we can do before appearing the exam we can buy some uh, pencil or eraser or whatever you need so that can be learning point for us uh, okay Juti, sorry sorry for interrupting Okay, that could Hello? be really that could be really good point. Like if you said uh, we should buy some pencil, uh, eraser, sharpener uh, before appearing the exam, because as yeah, you said, it's important to you. Yeah, you know which pencil you prefer most. You can take which pen you need. Uh, I prefer to take Matador things because you know I really suffered at the exam hall. The eraser they provided me wasn't good enough trust me and when i use mine the old one okay. it worked really nice so right. it was a great platform for me when i get those things okay so <laughs> i was taken i was taken to a room mm -hmm. where there was a social distance between people and trust me the silence killed me the silence was really depressing, you know? <laughs> Nobody is talking with anyone. Like, everyone was just looking at their passport, maybe uh, taking some things, thinking about something. And I was just thinking what I'm going to do after going to the exam hall. I was preparing my mindset that whatever I'm going to do, just... Mm -hmm. I will finish this 
I'm not gonna think anything emotionally. Like, you know, before the exam, there is some feeling like if I get low marks, what people are gonna say, society is gonna uh, ask me. Tell again. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, there are some things that always uh, hit us, first of all. If I got bad results, what are my parents going to do with me? What about the money? So <laughs> I was in a, in a state that, okay, now I'm thinking about it. I don't know about the results. Let me focus on my exam. If I think about other stuff, they're going to spoil my exam mood. So mm-hmm. I was just thinking that, okay, if there is writing advantage, I say, I'm going to write like this. If there is something about the agree disagree, I will I will go through this pattern. So I was so just you thinking were, about the you were, you were thinking about that thing while you were in the exam hall? Like you were thinking about yeah, that? No, no, no. <laughs> no, before before going to the exam hall. Okay. okay. There is a time okay. I, I was so taking when, as I told before. When was your when was your exam exact time? Like it started. Uh, okay. I went to the exam hall i mean at british council okay at 11 yeah. o'clock 11 o'clock okay. you went and 11 ex- o'clock and exam starts yeah exam gonna exam starts uh one, one o'clock pair. okay so yeah it's one pair, it's, almost. it's around 12 then one around two two hours yeah yeah two time. hours yeah, long time. so i got one hour almost more than one hour to think about what i'm gonna do so when i i was thinking as i said that uh when I went to a hall room where mm-hmm. nobody was talking with him, mm-hmm. there was the, they were like really silent and focusing on their, their, I don't know what they're thinking about, but I just went to a corner. Mm-hmm. Somebody showed me the way to go there. And I was just sitting and just thinking what I'm going to do on the example. What type of strategies I'm, I can use, whatever I learned, Okay, now is the time to execute it. That's it. Ah, good. So, uh, and another important thing, when you went to the, whenever you go to the exam hall, you can't come out for washroom or other purpose, you can't. So it's better within this time, you can, you can do whatever you want, like, if you want to go to washroom, you can. If you want to drink some water or anything, you know, people need. You, you please, you might do those things. After going to exam hall, you can't go out and say that I, I want this or that. They won't allow you. So there was a thing. After that, uh, they, one of the officers mm-hmm. called me to go for the fingerprint you know they need to scan my finger and click my picture so i went there another note is that did you girl, did you wear did you wear mask that time like it was the COVID, COVID yeah yeah situation. i, you I wear was mask? wearing i was wearing mask. yes i was wearing mask. this is uh you know a mask thing you have to do you have to wear mask i guess all the time you have to wear and I wasn't u- used to wearing this. Uh, <laughs> not, let me not, you know, not, let, everyone, let me... not everyone. Not everyone. No one no, loves, I, no one let, loves let, wearing masks, but still we are supposed to do it. <laughs> let me tell you about it later on. Uh, what I did on the exam hall, okay? <laughs> so uh, they click my picture. Another note for girls who always wear hijab. So you have to show your ears and hairs as well. So it's better if you can put off your hijab and just wear a, a urna like this. You know, no need to cover your ears and hairs because, because uh, that, you need to open over there. Yeah. They, need to, they, need to yeah, see they will yeah. click your picture. Yeah. They mm-hmm. need to see your ears. You know, nowadays, look, me and sir are, are using airports. So if you, you want to do some cheating, <laughs> you can hear the you efforts here and where the hijab, and they won't allow you. Never. You have to put it off, and then you have to go to the example. That's so, for girls, that's better if you can uh, 
open up your hijab and just go for the picture. Thank you, Juti. I'd, I'd like to take 30 seconds from you. Uh, so thank you, everyone, for being with us. Uh, Tanin, uh, Saif, uh, Mita Begum. Uh, she's our teacher. Uh, Mita, uh, or, uh, do you know her? Okay. Mita Begum is my mom, I guess. My oh, mom. sorry. It, it seems your teacher. This okay. Uh, thank you. Juti rocks. Uh, Juti is always rocks. Not Juti rocks. Juti is always rocks. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. that's my mom. Thank you uh, for being with us, Elise, Ajarimon, Janatu Mim. Uh, Alikum Salam. Janatu Mim, my student. Okay. Uh, Shagor. Sam, uh, Pranab Kanti Dev. So thank you, sir. Uh, we know him. Thank you, sir. Uh, it's really nice yeah. live because sir comments. It's, it's amazing. Thank you, sir. Oh my goodness. I love him. Yeah, man. he's I my teacher him. as well. I love him. The way he uh, he takes approaches for the young generation. That's amazing. Uh, I I watch so many videos like live sessions that uh, he took with uh, so many uh, organizations. I love him, his ideas. Uh, Mushahid Mia, Mahfuz Mijan, uh, Muzaffar Hussain, Sharif Shagor, Maureen, um, Sheikh Basit Alam, Hussain Sarwa, Layak Hassan, uh, Rifat. So, so there are so many members. Thank you, everyone. So I'd like to say, ask some questions that you would like to know from uh, Juti, maybe we will be there one more hour. So still we have time to, you know, give the answer of, of your questions. So ask questions, whatever you want regarding ours, ours experience, anything. Okay, we will try to give your answer. So ask questions. So thank you. Uh, thank you, Juti. Sorry, sorry for interrupting again, because I love listening to oh. you. Because that's amazing, journey. Like when you, you just spoke about the exam hall, I thought, okay, my exam hall like that. I was so nervous. Like you, you when you say <laughs> you were nervous, then I said, okay, I was also nervous. So what some people they think like okay, uh by Amia Amia thanks for making a nice moment. Oh thank you. Uh server from South Korea. Uh thank you. Here's some South Korea, you know. This is the time like when we do something we can do from all over the world. That's amazing. Like yeah. you are in Bangladesh, so I'm in a what I'm saying. Yeah, you're in Canada. Ten thousand miles away, but still we're. Uh, what I'm saying, we're connected, still doing the yeah. yeah connected. So thank you, everyone. Uh, Sarah, my daddy, and I'm my daddy, Shoman. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> Amazing thing, sir. Look at your beard. <laughs> Forget it. Oh my god! Like thank you uh, as well. So. Uh, Juti, uh, as we are talking about the exam hall, uh, so yeah. hopefully, hopefully that's gonna help the students because we shouldn't take mobile phone while we go to exam hall. We shouldn't take it. Uh, we need to have mask over there, uh, sanitize our hand. Uh, we need to maintain the social distance if uh, it is required. And um, so, what about your what do you, what do you want to say next? Okay, the next thing is like uh, you need. To you check your, you know, they will check your all things, whatever mm -hmm. you are taking with you, and they will scan your finger. You know, we we do some uh, fingerprint step, I guess. So they will click your picture, and then they will uh, send you a desk where you have to confirm your spelling, your name, you know, all sorts of things. So guys, be alert and careful while you're checking your name, especially for me because I had a long name and still mm -hmm. I have. So it was a really, you know, it, that was the moment I have to be more careful when I was checking my name because if your le one letter is written mistakenly, then that would be really difficult to change it. So, guys, be careful when you are checking your name. And another thing, please remember your signature before going to the exam. They will mm -hmm. ask you to uh, sign 
according to your passport signature. So, guys, please uh, make a note that uh, before the exam, just take the signature what you have used in your passport. Okay. Ah, then uh, I answered so, the exam. <laughs> oh. mm -hmm. Yes, there were two girl, two lady as well, and two guy. I think so. There were officers, and they showed me my table. I was in a, I think second, first column, second row. I guess so. It was more closer to the officers. Trust me, I was in a position that anybody can see me very, very well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then you will find a bottle of water there, a kit where you'll get pencil, pen, eraser, and sharpener, and uh, your uh, your. Uh, how far I know that there was a name tag. Written yeah. on the table, yeah. my name, my uh, student ID, and I think few details about me and my picture as well. So, uh, one thing I want to add: few people mm -hmm. think that few people think that doing cheating on IELTS exam might be possible. But mm -hmm. let me tell you one thing: mm -hmm. never think about it. Because they're gonna check you more than under trying. Trust me, they're gonna check your passport, your picture. They're gonna scan your finger. So, you know, doing something mischief in IELTS exam is totally impossible. <sighs> so, okay, so, so someone says, uh, "Is that section only for the girls?" You are mentioning only girls who. We are okay. Not I'm not mentioning just girls. I said every name that uh, commented here. Uh, thank you, uh, Khalid Saifullah. I mention everyone's name here. Okay. Actually, so, guys, I cannot mention anyone on the comment section because uh, I cannot go to the Facebook app. So that's better, sir. You can continue with the comments than other Yeah, stuff, okay? I, 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 no, no. He's, he's like saying that I'm not mentioning the boys' names. So maybe he came later. No, my <laughs> brothers are always ready to see me on live. So no, <laughs> no need to mention them. I know very well. And I told everyone's name. So uh, I would like to ask a question to everyone. Uh, this is for our audiences. Mm -hmm. uh, that is. Just you need to comment it. What I'd like to ask that is, what is your favorite hobby? Just write a comment. Like my favorite hobby is uh, teaching. So, so just write that thing. Uh, what's your favorite hobby? So it's for everyone. Uh, right. Uh, the question is, what is your favorite hobby? So let me know. Hobby, yes. <laughs> okay, what's, what's your, hobby? What's, yeah, what's your favorite hobby, yeah. uh, Juti? You know what? If I start about my speaking experience was really amazing. I'm gonna share it after completing this uh, this part. Okay. Okay. So my so, favorite hobby so, is yeah. Okay. What's your favorite hobby? Is going for cycling. Okay. That's amazing. Yeah, I'm I'm really fan of cycling. I do have my cycle, and I feel really relaxed when I go out and feel the atmosphere outside okay like you like outing uh you like cycling so that's that's your yes. yeah so please okay uh, let me go to the examination okay, okay, okay. experience okay, let, let me know know our audiences uh okay me too so please guys yeah. uh, comment here and let us know so if I if I uh, want to know something very uh, particular like oh hello Torun uh, hello bhai Torun bhai achi namade shatte thank you bhai namade uh, shatte thakar jonno great I think uh, Juti also knows him uh, one of my brothers so okay uh, Juti if I uh, if I you know I want to know something about very specific like 
Uh, how did you how did you manage last one month like okay when you you did register your exam so what do you feel ha. because because there's the, the there's the what i what i believe ielts is kind of like okay step by step process uh-huh. uh what 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 i'd like to say juti you know like if i say my side okay so what what i'd like okay so why don't you read my comment oh sorry man uh, thank you uh, ratul banda uh, he is saying ma'am your pronunciation level is outstanding thank you man ratul banda okay uh, mafu they they are really amazing guys they they want like yeah. we, we, thank we, you. we we read their comments okay that's good uh, mafu dipu apu when Uh, is your new TikTok video coming on? Okay, Jokhan. Oh my God! Janatul, me, my one. Sorry, M one is reading English article and dancing. Okay, her she is saying her hobbies. Uh, Salman Ahmed, how many teachers will guard us? Uh, is it possible to collect some spelling mistakes from familiar friends or? Mail uh, is our examination center. That's a serious problem to the most famous boss of our eyes. No boss, you can't do. You can't take help from others. You can't take anything from your friends, family members, your teachers. Nothing you can do in the real exam. Ma fuz dipu kita ba ita kita. Am I major excellent live? Kabir Babu, boss, take my salam. Thank you. Islam Tahidul, Apu speaking. Koto Paisen. Ah, okay. Schedule Islam Apu TikTok Koroin. Wait, sir. Child, okay. Big fan and man. Ah, uh, Jyoti, how good you are. Ah, Apu speaking. Koto Paisen. When I will get my question answer. टाइम आपू स्पीकिंग कत पाइस ओके गोईंग टू टेल सो प्लीज लेटेस नो वर्स यूर आपू आपनी अनेक सुंदर इंग्लिश बोलें थैंक यू प्लीज लेटेस नो यर हबिज लाइक दिस कमेंटेड हियर आपू हम मेम सीज भलो लागल देखे थैंक यू Okay, she will come because uh, there is a technical problem. Ah, uh, thank you, Anwar Bhai. Uh, I'll miss you all too. Truly speaking, sir, you were doing a magnificent work during pandemic and following this live session. Many of us are going to benefit. Thank you, young man. Uh, that that inspires me. Like when you guys supported me, that that. that the important thing that i love basically so like you are saying like you are enjoying it so it's maybe one of the reasons that uh, i love doing things like that though i spend very busy schedule but i love talking with you i love getting feedback from you i love sharing my journey even some of my students uh they did very well i invited them to come here and they will share their journey hopefully you will enjoy more because i'm trying to manage more people so thank you everyone just let us know that what's your favorite hobby oh my goodness okay uh oh she's leaving because technical problems so please let us know your hobbies just one person she shared that uh, her hobby but no one did share right now back sorry okay. sorry sorry so no no it's okay it's so it, it it might happen can you hear it me now might... yeah oh my goodness <laughs> no, no it's okay it might happen 
it might happen. Is it okay right now? Hello, Juti. Yes, sir. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Uh, technical problems. Okay. Sir, can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah it's okay. It's okay. From my side, it's okay. I can hear you. I can hear you. So, okay. Sorry, I so guess there is, was network. Issues. This is this is the burning question. Like Apu speaking a koto Python. This is the burning question people are asking. <laughs> so so okay, okay. Do not say. Do not disclose. So please guess what words are uh, speaking. Uh, okay, results. let's see. Let's guess. see who can guess my score. Do not mention, do not disclose the result. So please, so one of the guys, okay. he he said maybe eight. Okay, let's know who is the good examiner. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's, that's, that, that could be amazing. Like, uh, am I Majed said 8.5, Mujafur said 7.5, Mamun Khan Iman said 7.5, Shobu said 7.5. Okay, let's know. Please comment it. Like, what would be her, uh, what? Okay, what might like what do you think? What do you think about her exam score in speaking? Okay, so let's talk about uh while you did the registration or while you confirmed that you were about the exam, what was the okay. feeling like like how do you feel? Okay, first of all, getting a seat was really difficult, trust me. I went to three institute to get one seat. Mm -hmm. <sighs> you know, it's now people are registering their names two months back, but still they're not getting seat. What happened to me? Uh, I guess it's April 5 or 7, right? Yeah, first week of April, I decided to give IELTS. That was just before the uh, lockdown started, just mm -hmm. before. So I just decided to give IELTS exam. I talked with my mom. And uh, interesting thing was that I got my pay and I registered, by, uh, registered my name by my own earnings. So that was great achievement for my family. They were really proud of out of me and could you could you repeat, it, okay could you, you repeat know? could you repeat last three or five sentences like uh, what, what did you say okay okay i said like uh i decided to give my ielts exam on first week of april i guess okay and okay. at that moment i got my earnings oh you and got I your my family you got your earnings yeah that thing i that thing i like most you know what I personally love when someone said they earn money, they are engaging with something like they can earn from the source. I love it. So you paid for your own exam fee. You mean like yes, that? I paid my, yeah, that's, there was something that's, like that. That's amazing. That's amazing. You are 17. You manage your fees for your IELTS exam. So that is you know, really, really what I'm saying, inspirational for us. Okay, so then? Okay, then it was, trust me, it was really hard to find a, find a seat. I went to career.com, I went to G2D, and I called Rifat, sir. Sir, mm -hmm. I need a seat. I'm not getting a seat for IELTS standard. Can you, uh, can you manage get a seat for me? See, get a seat for me because I had to give my exam before July. Mm -hmm. There was a particular reason that was really personal. My bestie <laughs> was supposed to come before 
uh, before, no, not before, on July. So mm -hmm. before that, I had to give my exam. Mm -hmm. And that's why I chose June 19. A, you know, uh, a time where when I can sit for exam. But I'm not getting any any seat because every, uh, academic, IELTS, UKVI, you know, for for a student who wanna apply for US, uh, UK, mm -hmm. UK, ev everywhere it was fulfilled. Mm -hmm. And my thing was like, I'm not going to UK. I don't wanna. So I'm gonna sit for standard IELTS. That okay. is my my thinking level was like this. Okay, no worries. I will sit for standard exam. That cool. And then I talked with Rifat sir. I went to practice within, I guess, 30 minutes. They registered my name. I sent, uh, they sent me the email. And trust me, that is the best experience I had. <laughs> Nobody was allowing me to sit and talk with them about a registration, whereas Praxis and their, you know, <laughs> the way they behaved with me and my mom, it was outstanding. And the whole team, especially the managing team, the teachers, whenever you just call them and say, Sir, I need your help, they don't care what the time is, they don't care where they are, they're gonna call you back and tell you that. Okay, what do you want? That is that is the most, you know, the most important thing that attracts me to go to practice. For I I believe that for each student, trust me, who are willing to go to practice, you're gonna feel the environment. Everyone gonna respect, gonna show you the respect. They're gonna tell you to sit down, whether they don't, they have your solution or not they're gonna tell you to sit down relax they're gonna talk with you that is the most amazing hospitality i have ever seen from praxis for thank sure. you thank you it's Hats it's, off to you, it's sir. Achievement. Trust me. Thank Hats you. Off to you it's it's our achievement you know i was on the way to cry trust me i'm not getting any seed i'm <laughs> i'm just going around to get a seed and I was hopeless before going to practice. I was still thinking, tomorrow is lockdown. Am I able to get a seat? But Alhamdulillah, by the help of the teachers and the whole faculty member of uh, Praxis, I got the seat. And yes, I appeared for the exam. OK, thank you. Still, uh, and, people are, people are uh, knocking for uh, what about your speaking uh, score they want to know. So I'd like to say, <laughs> gaz, gaz it and give a score in a comment box. Like, what do you think about her uh, speaking score? So gaz it, we will do the answer later. OK, so. OK, I'll, mm -hmm. after this session, after this part, I'm going to share my speaking experience, which was most magnificent for me trust me okay let's uh, let's let me finish this then after this lockdown started then the month of ramadan so i was in a chill mode okay i have two months left it's just april after that um, my exam would be on june so just relax okay you can do it but on may i guess yeah on may 15th just after the Ramadan, mm -hmm. just after the Eid, one day my mom was telling when is her exam, and I was just talking with her about it, and trust me, I scared. It was only uh twenty five days left, and I was you know I got a. It was a shaking moment. Oh my goodness, only 25 days, maybe three or four weeks. So guys, if you feel nervous or, you know, tense about your exam, that's natural. Trust mm -hmm. me, that's natural. I, I felt, I felt nervous. I was tense. I guess Sar was tense. So getting nervousness before the exam is quite natural. So don't mm -hmm. scared of it. 
and don't waste your time thinking about your your nervousness or maybe uh, about frustration mm -hmm. it's natural okay okay let me come to uh, preparation before the exam okay i think that's better before uh, two months if you could like to, register I'd like to give, i'd like to give uh, an answer uh, abu kuras uh, okay, okay. will you will you guys, will you guys speak, speak bengali, bengali or not, not today we will not because <laughs> the way the way it started deserves that demands the show let's end it with english guys let's end no. it with english yeah yeah that's the thing the way it started i'm we are sorry maybe mm, we didn't plan that we will go like this way but it happened so okay that, that could be that yeah. could be exceptional Sir. exceptional session today we will we we started in english we will do it in english uh, just listen us we will we'll try to uh, share everything whatever we have so uh, thank you uh, abu bakr so trust uh, me the way to practice <laughs> yeah 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 that's cool uh, thank you afif for the yeah okay so one of the guys asked a question and maybe i made mistake i did not catch his question the question was about like okay. when while you were asking about exam hall so did hmm. you face did you see any girls over there any more girls with you and did you okay. talk with them and guards what was the like Gu guards guards ladies okay ladies. okay let me tell you one thing when you first go to the uh, i guess you were on the way okay first of there is some stairs and no, I, no i'm after... saying I'm, I, i'm saying like while you were in the exam hall as a girl yeah. as a girl are you alone or you see more girls over the exam hall oh, oh girls okay all yeah. right so yeah there were there were girls as well ladies then men okay so my exam was with academic gt student i mean general training and ielts academy so both sectors were together there i met with many uh you know adults like age maybe 35 or more 30 or girls are like 27 25 i was the youngest you can say benjamin of the exam hall <laughs> i was the youngest person entering to their exam hall Okay, so we need to talk about particular uh, subject or particular uh, what I'm saying, particular modules that you you mm. did prepare yourself. So yes, yeah. let's, let's talk about. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna share, of course. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about listening first. Okay, uh, first of all, I first, was in. First, first talk I was about in, li listening you know, because. Okay, talk about listening first. What did you do? Okay, like listening. Two months or three months or. one month okay listening is all about to listen and understand if you can't understand whatever you are listening then you might gonna face difficulty when us uh, when answering the listening questions okay so listening you know there are, there are four parts mm -hmm. in listening we all know that and if you go through the part 1 part 2 part 3 and part 4 the difficulty level gonna more increase in part 1 there might be 10 question but you have to make sure that you can answer you can make sure like you might answer 10 out of 10 and your 9 must be correct what happened to me i answered 10 and i was 100% sure that my nine answer gonna be correct mm -hmm. so so before before talking before before talking the listening uh it's a better that you can mention the score you have achieved in your ielts real exam in listening what, okay what was so, the score in yeah. listening 
it was a matter of sorrow no it was okay. a matter of it's sorrow okay. it's okay yeah, just let me finish <laughs> it was a matter of sorrow that i got 6.5 in listening because just it's before okay. the day of my exam in in my last uh, mock test my score was 8 8.5 but in the exam hall my score fluctuated Let me tell it's you okay. why. Uh, it's okay. Generally, so, no, no need to, no need to. No, no. Let it. me. I have the explanation. I have the explanation. Generally, yeah, that was the biggest mistake we are making. Trust me. Generally, we face MCQ in only one part. Might be in part three or part four. But in examination hall, in part three and part four, there were MCQs. maybe more than 12 mcqs that really uh you know confused me and the most thing it uh, made me nervous as well everybody was saying mcq is tough you have to be careful about it and you know uh, people are making mistakes while they're uh, answering the mcqs so my mindset was like okay if there is 5 to 7 and secure i can figure out but it was more than that so generally being a little bit you know nervous was natural and that is the mistake maybe i did so my score was 6.5 but i can definitely tell you in part 1 and part 2 i might get 18 out of 20 i'm definitely sure in next exam in next uh, exam i i wish that you will get 9 out of 9 i'm saying yes i'm, I'm planning to um, inshallah um I'm, i'm saying it and you will make it uh, frankly speaking we will be will be there again we will make live session again and we will talk about like juti got 9 in listening okay i'm sh- i'm saying it i mean it remember it So please guys ask yeah. some questions ask some questions regarding listening that you want to know from her okay any question regarding okay. listening okay just ask the question okay so yeah please guys ask me question i'm i'm cra- you know i'm craving to answer your questions trust me okay so that's that's the thing you said so uh how many questions or i'm saying like how many tests did you practice uh, in your ielts journey approximately like uh, regarding uh, mock tests okay. regarding mock tests regarding uh, uh, coaching center or whatever you did approximately how many tests did you face like while you, while uh, you were while you were at practice i saw like uh, basically in pcu when you do the practice care unit yeah. uh, some classes you did also uh, very well so approximately so, how many tests did you do in your whole journey okay i think cambridge 6 to 15 is enough for a guy for any beginners or advanced student anyone cambridge book 6 to 15 is enough to practice your ielts for any module so but make it count make your time more what can i say more precious by getting the answer and think about from where the answer came mm-hmm. so that, yeah it's a kind of tips for you when you are listening something maybe you are hearing any recording or practicing from cambridge book first listen once and answer and when you get the answer after this please try to figure out from where the answer came mm-hmm. try to evaluate that why it is not the right answer why it is wrong so what i did i just go uh, i just went through the cambridge book and i tried to uh, try to examine it that where i'm making mistake why this mcq is not correct why this is correct so this is this is the way you can improve your listening if you are hearing something that's okay but if you are not getting uh, anything from the listening track that's not good if you are making yeah 
generally students are facing this kind of problem okay we are hearing but we are not getting the answers because you are not focusing on that track and you are not understanding what they are talking about so for the beginners if you are doing you know uh, if you are practicing once or just doing part one just try to understand why they're saying this word why the answer is correct so just examine this and for me i just practiced 6 to 15 cambridge 6 to 15 and i went to pcu here you you will get some advanced listening track from different uh, you know online What's online there? question written question papers and there might be something uh, some exercise from practice plus book so in pcu i was going there only uh, for practicing as mock test and you will you can feel it because after the classes you're gonna get the feedback from the teachers they're gonna repeat the track and you will and you will understand from where the answer co comes that's it i okay. think they got the answer okay, expression so... on action <laughs> oh, man i am not here to do the expression but this expression this expression uh, helped me to achieve a great score in speaking. Okay. Uh, that's cool. Uh, let's uh, talk about uh, writing. Yeah, uh, yeah, writing. Writing, uh, how did you do and what did you do? Um, okay. How do you feel? Uh, like? So, yeah, about we say, always say that. How much you will speak, that much you will fluent in speaking. So I'm going to say the same to, thing to everyone that how much you will write, that much you're going to improve in writing. So the first foremost duty is to write. Just clear your basic first, your grammatical things like article, preposition, tense, whatever needed in, uh, for basic grammar, just complete it fa first, then move to advanced writing. Like you may using a complex, simple, compound, and those stuff. But please make your grammar more clear. Then focus on vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Vocabulary is like you may know some antonyms, some synonyms, and my, I might learn some. Uh, phrases you can use, especially connector and linkers. These are the things that can uh, make you get more good score, okay? Better score. And for writing in task one, you need to focus on the image that they will provide you. Mm -hmm. You can't write anything out of the question. This is what called coherence. So you have to be in the image or in a question what they have uh, gave you. I had three types of question in task one. So generally mm -hmm. people are saying that they get line graph or might be a, a bar chart or a table. In my exam, I face a table and two bar charts. So th this is like multiple charts. So you got, so be a, careful. You got, you got a table? Yeah, and two bar charts. Two? Two bar charts. Two bar charts. So it, it was three. Oh Trust my me, God. it was yeah, three. Three, three. Trust me, it was easy. If you can figure out those things, that was easy. In table, there was some data about a particular thing. And in two bar charts, there was like something was increasing and something was decreasing. And what happened to us, we just focus on the bar chart, not the data over there. Don't get confused. Just make a line through the bar charts and you will get a line graph there. What I did, when I, saw the, uh, when I first saw the bar chart, I made a line chart there. Mm -hmm. Like there was a, one type of data. So there was this fluctuating. I made, a, I made a line to make it more clear and that helped me out to and answer the writing. Great. So what was your writing score? I wasn't satisfied. With the <laughs> no. Everything, 
everything will be increased. Uh, frankly speaking, uh, I I deserve and I I believe that we will come again the live session and you will you will tell your story and that could yeah. be really really amazing. Okay, let let's keep it. Let's move to next one. No, no, you need to give the answer. <laughs> okay. I, trust me, I was really disappointed when I saw it was 5.5. Okay, so and I I I wanted to recheck it, but my teacher, especially Mushwa sir, said that Juti, you can uh, make it one more time. Yeah, so, you can. That, that will be seven point five in writing. No worries about it. I'm saying it. Whatever I'm saying. But I'm my really... writing wasn't bad enough. My it's writing okay. wasn't bad. I. Whatever I'm I saying. I was confident I'm saying enough. It. No worries. I'm saying it. Okay, you will make it. That could be seven point yeah, five. Inshallah. Okay. Inshallah. Keep it. I'm gonna improve it, of course. I'm gonna learn more things. We all, we all are really happy that you at least appeared the exam. You know, appearing as exam is not like a normal thing. Frankly speaking, in Silat, every day, every month, there are thousands of people did their course. Thousands of people know about us, but still they can't even appear the exam. So appearing as exam is one kind of achievement. Yeah, I do appreciate. Okay, I, so I, sir, last thing for the writing is. Hello. Uh, thank you, uh, Kausar Ahmed. Uh, thank you. Sir, can you hear me now? I, I, I can. I guess the network is making some issues. Okay. It's okay, so, it's okay. Okay. For the writing, the best thing is to practice. And you can practice your writing by commenting. Trust me, we all are social <laughs> butterflies. We yeah. all are social butterflies. We were, uh, we always scroll the Facebook and so and see p people's picture. But there, in the comment section, if you write a sentence, that's a part of practice. So no need to study uh, for a long time. You know, I'm not a, this kind of student. You know, typical student. Go to the table and read for seven hours, five hours. I'm not like that. I want to learn smartly. I'm going to write. I'm going to comment new words uh, in their pictures. I'm going to write a uh, status. We all use Facebook and we all give, uh, you know, caption. So why not you write your caption by using the correct grammar? That will inspire you. Thank you. Uh, so complete thank you. your guys. Complete just, uh, just uh, complete your basic grammar course or whatever you want. Just clear your grammar, whatever you need for the basic and then just go to the IELTS writing. Okay, thank because you, this basic skill is going to help you there. Thank you, Jyoti. Let's, let's talk about reading. Reading. Yeah, reading. Okay, reading. So, 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 so more... before, before, before going to the, um, before um, going to the reading, okay. before going to the reading, mm -hmm. I'd like to say, so this is the burning question like people often ask, like, uh, give me some tips, tricks. Uh, if I if I give the answer personally, there is no tips, tricks for dials. Frankly speaking, from my perspective, you need to study. While you study, then you can get okay. This is that 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 might be right way. That that is not my my right way. So you can find out your own tips, own tricks, own ways. If I say yeah. okay. Okay, if I say you can read like that, if I if, if you can read like that, you can do like that. It doesn't work because everyone is really exceptional from their own perspective. So what you can do, okay, this is the this is the listening. Okay, what what I can do? I can know from someone. Okay, this is the way I can solve it. Okay, now I'll now I'm starting to solve it. You know, solving it. Then okay, this is this is my score. Okay, I'll try to uh, one more way. So this is the ways that we can do better. So personally i do not like that someone said okay sir okay brother okay sister give me some tips give me some tricks 
Even while I take class, I didn't say there are five tips, there are five tricks for you. I do not say like that. So, what do you what do you say, uh, Juti? Do you believe about tips and tricks? Yeah, I I have a solid answer for this question. So in IELTS. There is no limitation of knowledge. There is no tips and tricks. And there is nothing to predict. So the, oh, the whole thing you can do is practice. And the most important thing, you have to find your weakness. Until you become, you become a teacher of yours, you cannot get a good score. So the uh, IELTS instructor can show you the road, a path to go. You can follow that, okay, in this way, I can get this, this score, that score. But you have to work. I can't push my leg into your, your body. You <laughs> have to work to that road until you can't get a better score. So everyone, please make a note that in the first week of IELTS preparation, you will find out your mistakes, your weakness. Until you get your weakness, until you find your weakness, you cannot overcome it. Okay. So I what I get, mm -hmm. first week I evaluated my whole test and mm -hmm. find found my mistake where I am where I am weak, where I'm not getting a good score. So this is a way you can improve yourself. Okay, one more person, like he's saying, uh, Ratul Banna, why can't I secure yeah. more than six in writing? Do I get them to fight? Very... Okay, so I got the Ratul Banna. What I would like to say, Ratul, so what, can, what, what you can do, that is, from my perspective, uh, that... I have been working since 2013 in our sector. So what you can do, like, you can read a lot. Okay, that could be a magazine. So read a, read the magazine properly and forget all the thing you are saying about. You're saying simple, complex, compound, degree. Forget everything. Forget everything. Okay, so what you can do, so that, that might be, uh, that might be uh, an article about Bangladesh cricket or uh, maybe Saki Balhasan or Masrafi. Okay, just read it out. Just read it out. Just read it, just read it out. Then try to rewrite it. Whatever you, whatever you got from the passage, just rewrite here. Okay, so think you were, a, you were a journalist. Think you were a journalist. Okay, this is the note. This is the, uh, this is the note. Uh, I write everything, what happens in the country, what happens across the world. So that could be for July month. Okay, so today today is the, for example, it's a July 12th. So write everything regarding any particular issues, maybe vaccine. So write about the vaccine. That way, after certain uh, period of time, you can see that you, you achieved a go, go, good score. Forget everything. Uh, I saw so many people, even my brother, uh, Mujaffar, he got 6.5 in IELTS speaking, IELTS writing twice. He appeared IELTS exam twice and he got 6.5 in writing. He didn't, he didn't learn the complex compound degrees, blah, 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 blah. If I said him, forget everything. Just, just read the, read something like you love and try to rewrite or Thing you are a journalist and write about the particular sector or particular topic. That way we can achieve a good score. If we think about the grammar, the coherence question, we might stuck. Uh, thank Sir, you. Can I hear something with you? Yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Okay. The one thing is that, like, you know, we remember a person by their activities, not by their names. So for grammar, I would say, Forget about the name. It is whether it is degree, it is chance, it is a you know complex compound. Just forget it. Just go through the uses of that particular thing. How frequently, how easily you can use those sentences or structure. Forget about the name. Nobody knows that. Wow, how like how many 
types we're gonna use in a sentence i am using a different different kind of sentences there so forget about the names of the sentence or particular grammar just focus on the uses of particular thing last uh, last last day my father uh, called me and uh, we talked around one hour so yeah he loves to know regarding ielts so he is going to get a uh, no, free time for doing ielts so what he shared with me like he said he knows every grammatical point he said maybe oh. thousands of terms like cohesive then uh, blah 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 even even i did on mm-hmm. i didn't i don't i don't know th- those things before even like super yeah. superlative uh, complex yeah comparative degree degree yeah there are so many issues he's the he's the boss the... Was, like he was a teacher yeah he was he was a school teacher his father also my grandfather also school teacher so the way oh. the, the way he learned it was like you know primitive boy so like he knows every grammatical points <laughs> what i'm suggesting him i suggested my father when you need to think that you you're going to know about dials forget all the grammatical things you know so he will come in silat Uh, right now he he is living in hobigond so may, maybe it's your a, father your yeah, my, father my father my father oh my goodness your <laughs> father going to appear for ail yeah it's a, like it's a, like for fun for letting know the okay. this is the term ail so he's going to know nothing for immigration nothing for knowledge oh, nothing right. for showing anything just he wants to know what is ail it experiences yeah so usually we talk around one or two hours almost every day and that could be uh, 50% in english he loves speaking in english great <laughs> okay. great so what i'm saying him all the grammatical things in hobigon so then come alone in silat just yeah. enter just enter the classroom and try to speak yeah. with others right listen something read that could be that that's the way you can achieve a score yeah there's the there's the suggestions i gave him so this is not for only for my father i'd like to say for everyone forget everything forget yeah. forget your forget your uh, what i'm saying your grammar your vocabs your uh, tune your accent everything just try to speak yeah uh, when, when i first time i saw juti that was in american corner i went yeah i went for i went for a you know taking a session that is uh speakers club something is american corner yeah. i saw like she was speaking in front of maybe 2000 200 people and she was speaking in english i was just you know amazed like it was the, i guess three words back right yeah, three, three, four, three years three, ago three years or four years back three or so, four years ago yeah in yeah, 2018 maybe so that was amazing like we need to speak as juti said like for for better speakers we need to speak for better reader we need to read so there's the actual way to do something better so uh so we, we we've been talking about reading reading yeah reading okay so i'd like one reading. more I, i'd like yeah. to read, I, i'd like to read one more comment that is it's easy to catch okay, okay. what you wants to say appreciate it that's amazing that's the word actually oh my god thank you uh, thank more, you one so more, much one more one more, more. Uh, imran ahmed i know her very well she is a good speaker <laughs> <laughs> thank so you that's, so much that's, that's the motivation just... that's the motivation for us yes that motivation last thing, last, always... thing last thing before yes. before talking about reading please everyone mm-hmm. try to sh- try to share the videos uh, what 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 is our plan that we need to reach people who needs yeah. they can watch the videos please share the videos we will be there again and again we will come you know re- talking about so many issues so many things so please yeah. i i do request you please try to share the videos 
Okay. So everyone, uh, please share the live <laughs> session so that uh, many people can catch us okay. and have a good chat with everyone. Sir, can reading, I be reading. reading now? Yeah, the sure, most, sure. Yeah, the most, what can I say? The worried situation. Everyone <laughs> was saying before I appeared the exam, mm -hmm. reading is really tough. You know, you're going to get 40 questions. You will you will have only uh, 30 minutes. And it's going to be really, really hard. And I was like, okay, I know reading is hard. Mm -hmm. But my plan is not to get 9 out of 9. I am happy with 7. So I... Just targeted a score mm -hmm. and I just focus on this. And that was a great strategy I followed throughout my preparation session. So, guys, everyone, please listen. We don't want nine out of nine. Few of them need, but those who are beginners on or need six or seven. So we need to set a particular goal. If you mm -hmm. need seven in reading. Okay, you just focus on 35 questions. Mm -hmm. You just answer accurately, take time and answer 35. Among them, maybe 30, 32, you're going to get correct. But if you focus on 40 out of 40, then look at the time. It's only 60 minutes. You can't answer correctly 40 out of 40. And reading is like how much good you are in english how you can get the things more easily how you can find how you can scan the things this is all about this so for me i targeted to answer 32 questions and among them i might get 28 30 and i was like okay i'm happy with this because if i focus on 40 you know the pressure level three passage and I have only 30 minutes, so uh, 60 minutes. So I was like, in passage one and two, I will have 26 questions. Among them, I have to get correct 30, 33. And I am confident enough that I will get 33. What, 34 was, your, out of 30, what was your uh, reading? Like 20, what was your 24 reading for, out, 20, was your 24 reading out of 26. What was your Sorry, reading score? Sorry, in passage, yeah. What was your reading in, score? 6.5. Five. Yeah. It was, it was like I answered 32 and properly. 32 with explanation. I know where the answer come, came from. So my plan was like in passage 1 and 2, I will get 26 questions. Among them, I have to get 23. So 3 are okay not sure but 23 is all about six so at least after uh, after completing two passages i can ensure six and after this in last passage i uh, i answered some mcqs and there were some summary completion with uh, with clues so it was a little bit tough and some true false so i was like okay i can compromise with this but in passage one and two i'm getting easy so I'm going to answer it first. So Alhamdulillah, I'm satisfied with this word. <laughs> okay. And so for everyone, please, guys, do one thing. Just fix your target. If you want six, 25 is six. So make sure you can answer correctly 20, uh, 28. So if you're sure about 28, at least you're going to get 25. Almost six. And if you get more, you know, uh, more... Uh, if you can guess few of them and got correct, then okay, that's your plus point. Okay, so my my belief that uh, what Juti will do next uh, is is my what I'm saying. Like it's my sure. uh, it's my like wish that you will get nine listening, reading nine, inshallah, spe speaking nine. Um, <laughs> Writing seven point five. I mean it. You know, I I mean it. 
I remember, I remember, I remember, still I remember uh, your mother uh, called me when you uh, came at uh, Praxis, uh, when you started the journey and sometimes uh, you came there uh, by cycling and it was yeah. far away, for, it, it was far away, like um uh, to uh, Amburkhana. It's a it's, it's Jalalabad, long yeah. Jalalabad. It's a long long way. Twenty five yeah. minutes. It took twenty five minutes. Twenty five to... minutes. Even even More. you need to cross so many you know roads like Shibgon, Mirabazar, uh, Kumar, Par, something sort of. Yeah, yeah. So there many, are so many places. So many, so places, many. So many places. places. So your mother places. your mother called me once. <laughs> So she said, uh, so what, what my wish, what I believe if Munjarin, Munjarin can did IELTS 8.5 or maybe 8, uh, what has scored 8 Munjarin? 8.5. 8 okay. 8 yeah. okay. So she said like that, if the girl Munjarin got 8.5, so why not my girl, why she can't? Okay, maybe maybe right now, right now your mother calls me. She, even she will say, if Munjarin studied uh, Oxford University, Cambridge University, why not my girl? So <laughs> maybe maybe after listening the sentence, I can feel proud. So there's the there's the attitude, there's the there's the achievement that I I frankly believe it that okay, our parents think like that. Even we should work like that. Um, our parents should think, okay, my my boy, my girl, okay, they will do such things. Okay, they will go there and we will find the ways. So I was so surprised. I was like, it was amazing to catch someone like they are wishing for their kids that, okay, my girl will achieve this. My boy will achieve this. I was truly astonished when your mother yeah. called me. She's like, said, okay. Sir, maybe you don't know me. Okay, I know you. I'm the mother of uh, Juti. So, so this is the thing yeah. I love. I love. I'm. I'm. I'm just saying that time. Okay, no worries about it. I know her very well. She will do better. So maybe your IELTS first journey. It was like one of the experiences in your life. Yeah, like, I was just tasting. Nothing else. Nothing else. <laughs> what I believe. In the next time, you'll get nine in listening, nine in reading, in speaking, nine in writing, 7.5. That time, I will be really happy. I'll feel really proud. And we, you make us really proud regarding you. So yes, my... sir. <laughs> to be honest, today, where I am, that's only because of my family, especially yeah. my mom. She was really supportive since... I born, trust me. She never stopped me anywhere. If you want to do something, you want to learn, go for it. You want to do, so sir, you know, as a girl, and we are living in Silent, riding cycle, going out for work, and the whole day you were busy with stuff, you are learning, you are teaching students, you are doing your job. It's really difficult, you know, in this society. But my family was supportive enough to cross those boundaries. And that's the reason I'm here. I am able to talk. So, so thank you, <laughs> Abhamu, everyone, for becoming me such a person that people can say. And the only thing I focus that I need to make my parents proud of me. Trust it's me, not, I had it's this not intention. the ending, the, the trips, it's not the ending. That began to do something really, okay. really amazing. Uh, so one of the one of the comments I'd like to read that is Majana Jannat, lots of love for you, Juti. You are speaking just khoitam, khoitam. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, yeah, she's my batmate, I guess, from oh, Access great. Program. Thank you. So one Thank note you is that I am a access alarm, 
uh, alumni of English Access Micro Scholarship Program, which is supported by the U.S. Embassy and organized by Empowerment and Human Development Society. So this was my first step starting my journey with uh, English language. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. So, well, sir, last you. thing, do I have more three minutes to express my feeling about my no, IELTS you, speaking experience? No, no, you can't. Okay. <laughs> no, it's about it. We have time because what my plan is like, okay, we will talk unlimited today. No, it's about it. Okay. So, we talked about okay. listening, reading, writing, the most yeah. important things. We are going to talk about that is I'll speaking. So people say you got seven point five, you got eight five, you got eight. So now it's your <laughs> turn. Now it's your turn to disclose. It's that time to yeah, open all the windows, right? Yeah. Can I? Can I you should, announce? You the should. Score? You should. They are. They are thirsty to know about it. Okay, so my speaking score was, oh my goodness, are you holding your breath? <laughs> my speaking score was eight. Okay, great. Okay, let's talk about your speaking uh, when you uh, face the exam and how uh, did you prepare yourself. Okay. Yeah. You know, uh, my speaking date was 23rd June, 4 p.m. So I got three days, I guess, before the speaking test. But trust me, I didn't sit a particular place to practice speaking. Trust me, I didn't. You know, I am studying in a college, so we had assignments. So I also had my assignments on 21st so i was just chilling okay doing my assignment going to the college going out having fun i was like okay it's speaking i can figure it out no worries but uh in more uh i guess 23rd before going to the exam i just looked at for 10 topics i asked part two 10 topics i was like okay i'm just uh getting some knowledge some ideas from this topic. Let's see what happens. After that, at four o'clock before, before four o'clock at 3.30, I went to the British Council, Arcadia. My speaking test was there. I could Arcadia level level five. Yeah. So I went there. I just took my passport, nothing else. No phone, no pencil, nothing. I just took my passport. I went to the British Council and when the guard checked me and found that I didn't take anything except passport, she, the lady was really happy and she said that, you are such a nice girl, you didn't take anything. Oh my goodness, we are tired of getting people's things. I was like, okay, thank you ma'am. Then I went to a room where I waited for 10 minutes, 10 or 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then they took me to the main main hall. They checked me. Then I, I was in a hall room where they were ready to check me with my passport and scan those stuff. So I was sitting and the officer was telling a person he was supposed to give IELTS general training exam. He was explaining that uh, that his exam, uh, that guy, his exam gonna be on video call. And the officer war, was telling him all sorts of things. And I was like happy, wow. If there is video call for me, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna make it more, you know, smoothly. No worries. So, I was smiling and the officer turned, turned back and told me that, ma'am, that rules is not for you. You're going to sit for face-to-face -face IELTS exam. I was like, okay, no problem. And I 
when I uh, confront the camera, there was something like camera and I guess, yeah, a fingerprint process. Mm -hmm. And I showed my passport and we had a chat for one minute. That's it. Then I, I was waiting when they will call me and I will go there. All the, that exams, moment, all the exams like reading, listening, writing, speaking, all the exams were in the same day or... In a different no, day. no, no. In a sec, uh, in a different day. I told, as I told before, my speaking exam on twenty third June. My final rest of three were on nineteen June, and speaking was on twenty third June. So I got almost three days before the speaking exam, but I okay. didn't practice. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the officer of British Council asked me, are you from English medium school? And let me tell you one thing. I am from Bangla medium school, college, whatever you can say. I studied in, I started my primary level for a, from a government school. Nothing about private or special care. I was in a prime, I was in a government school after this. My high school was I'm working at a girls' school, which is Bangla Medium School, and my college is uh, Silet Government Women's College, which is also Bangla Medium. So all my academic studies were Bangla based, nothing about English. So many of them were thinking like, I'm from English Medium School. English Medium School uh, students can only speak very uh, natural and fluently, but to be honest, that's not true. I don't. Know. Everyone can. So, if we if yeah, we try, people are we asking, can. He was asking, like, are you from English medium school? And I replied that, okay, uh, that's an obvious question about me. I'm not from a English medium school. My academic background is in Bangla based. He was like, okay, don't mind. I was surprised by your accent. You have a great accent, which is American. And I was like, thank you, sir. <laughs> and another note is, as I am minor, you know, I'm just 70. So there is a rule that if anybody is minor or under 18, a British Council officer will go with them to the examination hall. <laughs> so as, as well, an, an officer went to the room with me as a, what you can say, it's a, something, there's a word they say. I forgot it. Okay. So an officer went with me to the room and he told the examiner that I'm minor. And the examiner was asking, like, okay, did you confirm it? She is minor or not? Is it okay? <laughs> so I, I sat on the chair. And trust me, on that day, I was looking like a baby girl. Mm -hmm. I didn't wear the hijab because it's, it's all about speaking. I had to hear whatever they're saying so i was like a baby girl and mm. i just started first of all warm-up session warm-up session is like name where i live something like that so girl uh, guys uh serious note for you don't elaborate your warm-up session if they're mm -hmm. asking you something directly you know what's your name please answer it directly my name's that don't elaborate this. Like, I am Dash. My first name is Dash. Second name is Dash. Don't elaborate it. They just go through the direct answer. This is called warm-up session. Then they asked me about the academic studies and something like that. Then started part one. In part one, I, my, uh, yeah, I faced five or six topics, which was really weird because in mock tests, I might get in two or three topics, but there the examiner asked me several questions because I was answering really frequently. He was asking something and I was like, okay, <laughs> this is like that. Okay, let me answer it like this. So the topic was like apartment, my hometown, my hobby, uh, flowers, then happiness, then uh, tourist attractions, so many things, you know, and it was a great talk. I was, I was talking naturally, like I'm talking with a friend or maybe I'm talking with Musharraf sir. I was 
I was going through in a flow, okay. and then it started. Then they uh, they started part two. Mm -hmm. So another thing is that your single word is gonna be recorded. So the just put off your mask. They're gonna say it to you because there's a glass, and uh, no no worries about the mask. You can put off so that your words might be clear. In part two. My topic so, was. So did you did you put up your mask like you said? Yeah, yeah. Them? Did he, you, he told me the examiner told, told me. Yeah, after part two, he told me to put off my mask. He was just uh, giving me a uh, hint like, uh, you just put off it, and I just put. So that was obvious, so that I, I my words might be more clear. So, so what about uh, what what about part one? Did you when? When you when you I was wearing I was one, wearing it, it was, I was, was wearing mask I was wearing part mask one. part so, one okay yeah in part one I was wearing mask because uh you know I speak loudly it's a benefit for me as well I okay. spoke loudly there so the they should they could record my words and another thing is for you everyone. As many of us are really shy when we are talking to somebody really mm -hmm. unknown or might be uh, speaking in in a crowd, so please try to speak loudly, like in a level where a person in front of you can hear you properly. And my voice was in a moderate, in a moderate, uh, you know, in a moderate volume, so that anybody can hear me really easily. So in part two, my topic was describe a time when you imagine something. Mm -hmm. Trust me, I never heard about this topic. <laughs> I never, I never faced this in any mock test, in any practice session, no. But what I did, I put this topic in my comfort zone. I made up a story. Mm -hmm. I use whatever I can, and I try to connect it to my real life. So I told them that uh, a personal a personal incident happened with me. I applied for Yes program in 2019, and I went to Dhaka as well for my test and all sorts of things. But due, due to the lockdown, the process stopped and I missed the opportunity to go to US. And that was the most frustrating thing I faced during the pandemic. I just described those <laughs> incidents that happened with me mm -hmm. that I imagine that, uh, imagine for a week that I am living in a country of like I'm living in US and observing the life there. I told the story that I'm imagine a situation like I'm living in US, having a good time there, hanging out of them. Then then I was describing maybe one and thirty thirty seconds, one hundred and thirty seconds, and then I started telling why I imagine this. Because <laughs> of the society. Because every day everyone was asking me whenever somebody is coming to my house, why you are still here? You're supposed to go to America. You're supposed to uh, study there. Why you are still in Bangladesh? Oh, pretty girl. And that was the most annoying situation ever. So I just described that. And, and after it, this, was, it was really fake story that you described and you got scored. No, 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 not fake story. It was related to me. Okay. Just I I made a story that I thought I'm living one week in US. That I added I'm saying, and everything I'm, was real. I'm saying, yeah, I'm saying like, okay. Yeah, so you I made took a story. That a story it, yeah, based yeah. on reality. I'm saying this one, yeah. It was a story and just you shared with them. 
Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so that's all about your speaking. We are about to uh, complete our session because it's one an hour. Yeah, one one hour more. minutes. It's a long, long time. So, <laughs> last two questions I would like to ask so, you. Yeah. I'd like to ask you. Okay. What about your What about your you know words, your your saying, your motivation, your suggestions, your recommendation for young generation who is ten, who is twelve, who is eight, who is fifteen? What What is your recommendation for them? What they should do okay. right now? What What kind of mentality they should have right away? So okay. give for me the some youngsters, solution. Right, sir. Yeah. For the youngsters. For the for the generation that you know, like you're junior, you're the senior right now. You're okay, not talking okay. about I'm you're not, not senior. You're, okay. you're not talking about us. You're talking about the young generation, maybe young okay. generation. Sir. What you were saying, you know, under eighteen. What, what Those are under eighteen. Yeah, what you were saying, you appeared as exam when you were seventeen. Yeah. So what? So what might happen in Silat in Bangladesh? I believe. So now we can get just duty here. We need more people. Mm. Yeah. Someone, someone that could be age could be fifteen, age uh, could be twelve. They will appear as exam and they, okay. they can okay. get eight, nine. Yeah. I want, I want such story. I want to share. Someone will come at ten, age ten, and he will say, "Okay, I got nine in speaking. I got nine in listening. I, I love hearing such things." Yeah. So, what's your motivation for them? What's what is your suggestion for them? Okay, okay. So, you know, being sixteen, fifteen, or thirteen. After thirteen, that's really a tough time for youngsters. You know, this is the time when you can change your life. Now, I did IELTS. At the same time, my friends are doing something. So, my suggestion is to. If you want to be unique, if you want to be different from others, you have to do something different from them. Like, just make your time count. Now, in lockdown, you are getting plenty of time. Maybe you are playing Free Fire. Maybe you are uh, scrolling Instagram, Facebook. Yeah, yeah. So why not you learn whatever you want? Okay, you know, learn English. Read a story. Just go to an article. Hear a song. You want to dance? Listen to English song. Dance on that. You are sitting. You are chatting with somebody. What? Whatever you are doing, just try to connect it with your passion. My passion is to do something in English language. So I. I just focus on this. So you should have a target before before being eighteen. Generally, people say, "Okay, after HSC, you can do your IELTS. No worries. Just focus on your academic." Why? You have to make yourself capable enough before before appearing IELTS, so that you shouldn't, you know, you shouldn't face the difficulties what people are facing nowadays so just should the should the young generation think about their age like oh my god i'm just i'm just 15 i i i shouldn't appear as exam i shouldn't age do something doesn't matter. should, they, should, age they, should, doesn't should matter. they should they think like that what do you think no of course not age is just a number okay if a 9 years old boy can be a lecturer i guess a professor of a university Professor of Harvard University, as uh, how far I know, a boy maybe nine years old. Yeah. Yeah. He become a professor. Why not? I can be. I can be a. I a student. <laughs> Why not? Age is not the fact. You can be a businessman. You can. You can be a role model for many students. So age is not the fact. The thing is that how much focused you are. What do you wanna be? Just go. Just fix a goal. Okay. Thank after you. five years, I have thank to you. do that. Thank you, Jyoti. Uh, thank you for an amazing support, amazing talk. Uh, so, young generation. Yeah, that's, it's been that's it's the, been one hour and forty minutes. Yeah. Oh so my goodness. Young, young generation, do not worry about your age, please. No. Just just not go. about academic. 
Not yeah, about the academic. Where, whether anything, you are for English anything. medium or Bangla medium. Anything. No. Anything. Okay. So I like to just add something. Okay. Then you will. Then okay. I'll then I'll ask you one more question. That could be the la last. Okay. Question. Okay. Can we go through the comments? Yeah, yeah, there are so many comments. Okay. Okay. No, no. They they are just motivating us. They are not asking any question. Thank okay, you. Okay. Done. <laughs> So uh, one of my students, I can say one of my yeah. colleagues, uh, Numan yeah. Ahmed, uh, last day I shared yeah. on social media, he was just 20 and he was the manager of Praxis Uposhor. You know, we we have around, uh, per month we have around 2,000 students. So he, he's dealing amazing. Yeah. Uh, we have, uh, if I say regarding three, three uh, branches that we have, Praxis Uposhor, Praxis Kanaigar, Praxis Jogigons. We have around 200 people who yeah. work together. So he's the manager. He's just 20. He's earning money. And yeah. yes. he's, he's paying for his living cost. He's paying for your his uh, eating. Sure. He's, he's, he's paying for his family. So why not we? Yes, of course. Do something. Why uh, don't one, we? Yes. Yeah. So one more thing. Uh, Juti said, like, she paid for her IELTS exam with that that clicks my mind it was really astonishing like she paid for the she paid she gave the money to British Council and it was like she earned she earned the money she earned the money really amazing she did tuition she she, she taught students so, so that's, yeah, that's, I work that's, in that's, IT firm that's the... IT firm she has IT so that's cool Okay, thank you, uh, Juti, for all the support, all the words, all the motivation okay, that you the gave last us, question, all the guidance. And, and last know. question, I'd like to ask you, where do you want to see the praxis as you are the part of praxis? You are the students, students of praxis. You are the member of praxis. You are the, you are the well-wisher of praxis. Where yes. do you want to see the praxis? Okay. So... You know, after a few years, if we work the way we are working together, the practice, the student, the managing team, I think uh, not, it's not, the success is not too far. Within few years, we're going to see practices in every city of Bangladesh, not in Silet. In every district, there would be a name a room for praxis student. And after this, we we will expand the area and they will, then we will move to international. But first of all, we will we will make branches in Silet, then around the Bangladesh, and then around the world. International. <laughs> yeah. Like we want to we want to born that our student will go out the country and make a branch and the head would be in one place. We There would be one headquarter and the others will be followed by this headquarter. And everyone will know, if you want to do something better, go to practice. So that could be a tagline, you know. <laughs> if you want to do something in your life, go to practice. And after a few months, you will ch you will get your changes. Okay, so this is like follow up question. The question I asked. Yeah. This is a follow up question. Okay. Uh, so, as you visited Praxis, you did some classes at Praxis. What thing yeah, yeah. you what thing you like most about Praxis Uposhor? Okay, the bonding. This is the self marketing. No, 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 no. Am self, I like self, self I branding? Like, like self branding. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm branding the practice for sure. Okay. No. We, 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 well, we need to, first we need of all, to. sometimes, sometimes we need to do it because because we, we, we need to do it. Father, <laughs> when they grow up, there were many blessings that he will brighten at the face of mother when they. Amazing. Okay, so the last thing is like when I first went to practice, I was surprised when I saw the bonding between teachers and students. Trust me, 
you don't need to get the permission to talk with the teacher they will come to you that was the most you know most attractive thing in practice the teacher are available in a room maybe one teacher is doing the class but others two are sitting there to helping the students if i am practicing in a room not in, there i don't have any class i'm just sitting but a teacher will come to me and ask me what are, do you need any kind of help do, do you get that so this is the most precious thing i found in pra praxis there is no restriction that you can't speak you can't go to that room you can't talk to the teacher no teacher will come to you okay. and they will ask you you are shy okay they they're going to take you take you to a room and they will talk to you privately they will uh, they will tell you what do you want okay we have this kind of facility we can do it if you need private care teachers will be there over time so this is the best thing ever i have seen in practice okay so what so oh, if i compare to other <laughs> institute yeah if i compare to other institute if you want to meet with somebody you have to knock the door if if any, you need to wait for them their classes would be there but in praxis if you are not getting one teacher another would be there for you if there is no word from them they won't sit they will come to another student so that's it. that's the best thing ever trust last, me i'm not doing last, advertisement last last last, last, last this is the last last follow up question the bry okay. brothers the the vai yeah. brothers the vai brothers you met at practice uh, when you did classes almost everybody uh, mm -hmm. left left bangladesh so what do you feel meeting new people like there were so many people uh, you met when you did classes at practice and i saw yeah, you guys mostly. you guys made fun you 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 guys talk you guys you know take speaking test each other i i, I observed everything yeah so when I, when i even didn't take classes i i i, I watch on cc camera I, i saw there okay what you did you guys in the classroom okay you took you know you took uh, exams about speaking yeah. maybe maybe so one examiner examiner like that so how do you feel meeting them okay so meeting with new first people was was such a great experience and i met with many people in praxis they are not most of them are not in bangladesh they went outside but still we we are connected you know when we went to a session in a room we try to share ideas like i'm um, if i'm good at speaking we are like okay so you can do like this i'm going to take a session i'm going to take your exam then i'm uh, i supposed to give, give them a few feedbacks and when i'm doing some mistake they were like no juti this answer came from that go to this line then i was mm -hmm. like okay i know the answer i know the word so this is called communication we don't that's the first time maybe we are meeting but you know a, there were no communi communication gap or anything there were there, there was nothing like shyness okay she is younger than us uh, how can we talk with her mostly how many people i i have seen they are mostly 10 years five years older than me but they never said this to me that you are younger than us we don't want to share anything to you no they were like okay maybe you know something better from us let's share it so sharing is caring what i learned from practice sharing is caring thank you and i shared uh, i got the <laughs> care that's all thank you uh, it, it was really amazing <laughs> uh thank you everyone for supporting us uh for staying with us that that's i enjoy actually so i, I enjoyed say, a lot if i say in bangla like bhalo thakben bhalo rakhben that's the my uh, my last sentence i'd like to say okay what do you want to say something the last yeah last word. thing is like i'm extremely sorry for the internet connection and my words because i'm suffering from cold 
and uh, after doing my vaccine duty i am trust me i can't speak properly but uh, alhamdulillah i have completed the live and if you didn't get anything please i'm extremely sorry for uh, i'm sorry for anything if i spoke anything wrong please forgive me and keep me in your prayers stay happy stay healthy maybe we would be meeting in next live or maybe at practice i might be going there or meeting with somebody so till then stay happy stay healthy assalamu alaikum thank you assalamu alaikum